Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we're test driving the 2014 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. This is a new car this year and it represents a lot of firsts for the brand here in the United States. So let's get started. Starting at 29,900, the Mercedes-Benz CLA 250 is the brand's first front-wheel drive offering in the United States. You can option the CLA 250 with the 4MATIC all-wheel drive and even step up to the performance of the CLA 45 AMG. The CLA is styled heavily with the brush of the popular and much more expensive CLS four-door coupe. Bringing its fast roofline and rounded rear silhouette to the entry point makes for an aspirational theme that carries through the entire CLA experience. While it retains much of the CLS broad brush and the silhouette, it's assuredly scaled down. The car sits on its tires like a front-wheel drive sedan in stance, losing the long-reaching front hood and short deck feel of a rear driver. Our tester was optioned with the larger 19-inch twin-spoke wheels which come with more aggressive summer compound tires and the panorama sunroof. In addition to heated seats, this brought our total price to $33,385 including destination. The cabin comes standard with MB Tech's vinyl sport seats which are near as pleasant as leather hides. Design of the dash is remarkably simple with a floating screen for audio and driver information. The instrument cluster is classic Mercedes-Benz two-dial and down to business. Material quality is good and expensive feeling in some areas and a bit lower rung in others. While the aluminum trim itself is genuine, it looks like coach class and hard plastics rear their ugly tap in places like the door rests and console. Center stack controls are good, however, following the brand's ethos with white on black buttons that are easy to use on the go. As you make your way down the console, a single knob style putt controls your audio and infotainment screen. The standard audio system is adequate in terms of sound quality and I find its screen to be a bit basic looking with its black on white radio dial and menu controls. Using it is also not as intuitive as I found in the Audi's MMI and in other brands. Rear seat space also comes in as adequate. That sexy roof line and its low door openings makes for a gymnastic experience getting in and out. And when you're there, the front seats are ever present at your knees. It's the cost of a compact. When you first get in this car, it's definitely a Mercedes-Benz. It looks like a Mercedes, it smells like a Mercedes, and if you've been around Mercedes-Benz cars, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't yet, well, you'll figure it out when you get here. It's just got that feel. Um, now these seats, they straddle that line right between too stiff and too soft. They're actually very comfortable. I've spent a lot of time behind the wheel in this car so far and uh, they don't make you ready to get out of them by the end of the day. You can sit here and go on a long drive. They're quite comfortable. And best of all, both the driver and the passenger have power adjustable seats and they actually have memory, both of them. The option panoramic sunroof was a nice touch, bringing a good deal of light to the otherwise dark interior. Trunk space is what you'd expect in a compact car, a bit truncated by the rounded shape of the rear quarters. Under the hood is a 208 horsepower, 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine mounted transversely to a 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Both are a first for Mercedes Benz here in the United States. So far, I found this powertrain to be quite pleasant and it actually likes to have a little bit of fun, particularly when you set it in sport mode. It revs very freely. It revs high and very refined. And best of all, this transmission is sport mode. When you break into a corner, it gives you these nice crisp rev match downshifts. And then it's right there in your gear when you go out. The EPA rates the CLA 250 as tested at 26 miles per gallon city, 38 miles per gallon highway, and 30 miles per gallon combined. In our week of testing, we achieved a tank average of 34 miles per gallon, which is a bit above as promised, which is good as it requires premium fuel. With the front wheels being guided by McPherson struts and electric power steering and the rear wheels held down by double wishbones and trailing arms, the CLA 250 makes its way down the road with contemporary hardware. This chassis also impresses me in some ways. It has that same Mercedes riding on a slab of granite feel that we've always come to expect from this brand, uh, yet it does have some athletic reflexes, especially going into corners here. It just has a nice sharpness to it that, um, well, you don't always find in domestic and Japanese brands. 
under full power, the front-wheel drive CLA 250 does exhibit a dose of torque steer that still feels a little bit out of place to me in a Mercedes-Benz. The good news is that if you step up to the 4MATIC all-wheel drive, that eliminates virtually all of it. You know, the CLA 250 reminds me of a bit of a personal story. I once leased a Mercedes-Benz C-Class, and I remember when I showed it to my parents, they thought I'd gone absolutely bonkers, spending my money like a cowboy. But you know something? I reminded them that the lease payment on this car was probably less than half of what their Chevrolet Avalanche was. And you know something? I was right. And that really speaks to the larger picture here. You can compare this to the Audi, the BMW, but at 30 to 35K, you can easily spend that on a Chevrolet Afford or even a Chrysler, not to mention the Japanese brands out there. So something worth considering. Now, as we score it this week, as you can see, it didn't quite rise to five stars across the board. And I think part of what's at work there is the fact that this is a Mercedes-Benz. The expectations were high. And at this price, I think a lot of this stuff is built to a price. And we talked about some of those things, but the car still gets four out of five stars this week. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride.